This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is how long will it take to get a K-1 Fiancé Visa? Visa Coach. Fast, easy, and personal. Hi, my name is Fred Wall and I am the Visa Coach. I'm known in the field of Fiancé and Spouse Immigration for the fast and easy approval and personal one-on-one -on -one attention my clients enjoy and for crafting winning front-loaded petitions that ease approval while avoiding high fees, delays, or denials. Today's question is, well, how long does it take to get a K-1 fiancé visa? As of May 2014, the answer is five to six months on average. It takes about one to two months at USCIS, one to two months at NVC, and one to three months at the consulate. I regularly get calls from people saying, well, these numbers must be wrong. Oh, because they found a website or a person who promised a, a shorter processing time. So what's the secret? Well, the secret is those guys are either telling you what you want to hear so they can get your money, or they're just referring to one step of a three-step process. Not all the steps required from initial submission till when you get that visa in your passport. When I give time estimates, I always use what is most relevant to the couple, and that is starting from the day USCIS gets the petition, ending on the day your foreign fiancé gets the visa. So five to six months is what we're looking at. Two different departments of the U.S. government are involved, USCIS and the Department of State. Homeland Security recently uh, well, they're actually getting their job done extremely fast. I had one case last week was, it pro was, it, was approved in only nine days. But average, let's talk one to two months, which is great. And this compares to five or six months that they were taking last year. Now, I believe this speed up is mostly due to a new processing center that's opened up and come online in, in Texas. This is helping to uh, spread the load between three centers instead of two, so it's going much faster. Now, processing will include a background check by FBI. That takes some time, too. Now, the most common and prolonged delays are usually caused by avoidable mistakes during the preparation of the petition. If USCIS finds the petition is incomplete, that items are missing or illegible, or, or even if the payment amount is not exact, the processing grinds to a halt until the problem is fixed. Now, once USCIS approves, the case is passed to the U.S. Department of State. The Department of State has a processing center in New Hampshire called the National Visa Center, or NVC. NVC basically assigns a new Department of State case number, then forwards your file on to the American consulate responsible to finally issue the visa. In years past, NVC only briefly handled the case and normally within two weeks forwarded on to the designated consulate. Well, NVC appears to be having difficulty in keeping up with USCIS's, well, three times faster output. And now cases seem to language at NVC a little bit longer than usual, about one to two months uh, before being passed on to the consulate. Hopefully, NVC will, will step up their game in 2014 to speed the process. Now, once NVC has completed their actions, well, a few weeks later, the case file physically arrives at the consulate assigned to interview your fiancé. And within a few weeks later, once they type it into their database, the consulate contacts your fiancé directly and gives her instructions on booking the interview, attending the medical, and giving her final document checklist. Some consulates are busy and more, uh, are busier and more efficient and are work faster than others. In the Philippines, for example, the process is very efficient and fast. Uh, interviews can be booked by the fiancé or sponsor online for about one to two months in the future. But in Vietnam and Dominican Republic, well, it might take two to four months later before the consulate advises when the interview has been scheduled. Now, the approval or denial, approval and denial decision is made during the interview. Then, in about two weeks, the passport with its new K-1 visa is returned to your fiancé. Now, just as in medicine commercials on TV, your results may vary. Some of my clients got their visas much faster, some slower. 
if in 2014 you plan for about well five to six months average K1 visa processing time, you're not going to be far off. <clears throat> this is Fred Wall, the visa coach. I do the work, you get the gal or guy. The final challenge before a visa or green card is approved is the dreaded interview. The Visa Coach has written an ebook collecting over 120 sample questions for his clients to study. You can have your own free copy of this indispensable resource. Increase your chance for approval and happiness. Get your copy at visacoach.com forward slash free.